Hey, the lady, good people of Internetlandia. My name is Jonathan Henry, and today I'm going to show you a little bit of something that I was actually trained to do. Huzzah, huzzah. So, <laughs> if you live in the United States and it's not 1984, you will find on the side of your house a whiz bang box like this. This is your net network interface device or network interface DMARC. And you're going to see there's two. Not one, but two holes in this delightful device. One goes right here, and that is for our good friends and neighbors at the telephone company, and it requires a special tool that I didn't bring with me. Um, the other one's right here. All you need for that is your friendly little fat little Phillips screwdriver, and what it does is it's going to unlock the bottom, this little customer access bit, and it's going to give me access to the sled. Now, the reason I called this meeting was to show you guys a little bit of network troubleshooting. It's really, really pig simple. So once you get this little thing unscrewed, again, I'm working like an amputee because I'm making a video. You unscrew it, and I think that's about as unscrewed as this thing is going to get. Man, is it weathered on there. Right. How long is this damn screw? See, now I'm getting that clickety click, which tells me that the screw is no longer seated. Alright, we're going to come back with part two. Alright, part two. So this pops open, and you'll see this mess of wires. It's actually pretty simple. This thing doesn't really have skids, but this would be line two. This over here is line one. Your entire telephone is just one piece, oh, excuse me, it's just two wires. Everything's two wires. It's really simple. You got your tip, you got your ring. And uh, it is a pig simple 1800s technology, and it works really, really well. Uh, up here, you're going to see this little phone jack looking doja hickey. And this is, when pulled, it's going to disconnect all of your internal wiring and you're going to have your external wiring. So IW is what the phone company likes to call it, your internal wiring. And then everything is your, your well this is your drop and that leads over to your F2 which is your aerial cable or your buried cable. In this case it's, it's a little bit of both. It's buried up to the house but uh, then we go on to telephone poles by the road. So, uh, what we can do is you can plug a you know a bog standard telephone into that and see whether the cables inside of your house are chooch or whether it's just uh, something going on outside. If it's inside your house, that is on your dime. All of the wires since 1984 inside of your house are your fucking problem. But good news is is if you plug it in here and you're still getting the same shit you were getting before, that means it's outside. And outside is the province of your local telephone company, be it AT&T, uh, you know, BT or DT or whatever the hell it is. Or AT&T, there you go, uh, in this case. So I'm going to go find a little phone and we're going to see if we're still getting the problem. Hey, okay, back again, back again. I've uh, brought a telephone in from, out, from inside, that was bang device, plugged it in. And uh, the same issue is still going on with the, uh, with the phone. So, what I've just done, and what can save you maybe a couple bucks, instead of just calling the phone guy, is coming out to your NID, plugging the phone in. If you still have the same issues, you call the phone company, and you can be assured they're not going to try to bill your ass off. Or, well, they're still going to try. But 
you can at least know for sure, following the troubleshooting steps that your telephone guy is going to come out and do, that the problem does not exist inside of your house. The problem could be with your drop, the problem could be with your, your F2, you know, the, the aerial lines, or it could be back at your, your CO. So, uh, now you know a little bit more about fucking with your telephone system. If you have any more questions, I suggest uh, going to school. Anyway, have a great day.